And today I have a little technology demo that is illustrating the massive parallel processing capabilities and modern indexing techniques that Swarm64 adds to Postgres to make it a much more powerful solution for general purpose database activities and for online analytics processing, OLAP. In front of you, you've got a screen. This is a little demo environment we've built. On the right-hand side, you have just standard Postgres. Uh, at the top, you have a little command terminal. Then you have your CPU load in blue and your disk read in gray. On the left-hand side, you have the same for Swarm64 DA installed as an extension into a Postgres 12 installation. Both of those servers are exactly equal. What you'll see in a moment as I pick a reporting query and execute it, you will see that it has been planned for parallelism on the left-hand side, whereas you will see on the right-hand side that the plan turns serial quite soon in the process. You'll also see the IO load reduction that we have due to our column store indexing. And finally, you will see that the execution and parallel is capable to run this almost the entire query time in Swarm64 case, whereas in Postgres, eventually you will hit serialization bottlenecks. And there's a striking performance difference as a result of all that. So as I'm pressing here, the drop-down menu and selecting a query, this is from a industry known benchmark TPCH, here picking query 16, you'll see how both systems start and Swarm64 very quickly starts to utilize all resources available in the system. You also see at the bottom, the gray area, that not much IO is caused at all. Postgres needs a bit more IO, but what is quite striking is it has now already resorted to only running serial in its processing chain. So in other words, even though the system is idle, Postgres doesn't really use any of the available resources and just lets the user wait and wait and wait. Left hand side, you see Swarm64 still utilizing all the resources. It has also already done with all the IO requests, as you can see. And now the query has completed in 41.7 seconds. On the right hand side, you're still processing. Just to not make this the world's most boring demo, we're going to fast forward. As you can see, Postgres needed about 828 seconds to run the same query with the same result. The effective throughput is only 130 megabytes versus the 2.6 gigabytes on Swarm64 side. In other words, a user would have waited almost 15 minutes on an idle system for an answer to return. Swarm64's massive parallel processing capabilities, better planning capabilities, and the use of column store index to remove IO bottlenecks early on helped to resolve this query very quickly and provide the user the result they were looking for. Thank you very much.